You got all this outside noise with Jonathan Taylor. Anthony Richardson, who's only played 13 college games. I love the training camp news. I love what the media is feeding us, but I don't give a damn about training camp, really. I don't give a damn about pro day. That's where you're supposed to have your mistakes. I hate That's why it's training camp and practice. I want to see what you're doing in the pads, right? Anthony Richardson being a rookie quarterback. Again, love all the stuff we've heard out of training camp for the Colts and especially him. New head coach and Shane Steichen, which I'm a fan of. We've seen the toolage he's had with Jalen Hurts, with Justin yep. Herbert. A little bit of a shaky front office and ownership compared to last year. You've got Matt Ryan and then Sam Ellinger. And then I think there was one more quarterback that got popped in there. And just being so mismanaged along with the Jonathan Taylor injury, winning four games is very tough to see. All of that said, does this worry you for a very, very young Colts team heading into 2023? Again, rookie QB, new head coach, a lot of outside noise with the best offensive player. I mean, it's not a positive. It's not something that you exactly. It's it's not like a uh, something they can use to propel them to to to, to accomplish what they hope to accomplish this year. Look, I, I've been and we've talked about. It. We were on the same uh, draft show uh, this yep. this past draft in in April when when Anthony Richardson got taken by the Colts. And initially, and I, I talked all throughout the the draft process and during the draft, and we we were talking about specifically the completion percentage, fifty two percent. What was the stat you gave about where he was ranked in college football? Anthony uh, Richardson was 45 out yeah. of he was 45th out of 45 FBS quarterbacks for accurate passes in college football. And he's played 13 games. I'm not knocking him, but I said sure. Anthony Richardson is Trey Lance with an even bigger question mark. Or I guess maybe less of a question mark. I don't know. You got one year. Trey Lance played one year, took a year off, got drafted with a lot of trades. Anyways. Yeah, <laughs> but no, that was because because again, we were talking about that in depth during the the draft process, about the 52%. That's that's usually unless you're a freak athlete, which Anthony Richardson is, right. uh, that's that's not something that just accuracy is just something that just hits you. It's not you can work on it, you can get better, but there's only for some guys, there's only a certain ceiling. Right. Uh we've seen that at times with you know, I remember back in camps where Cam was never able to get over that uh right. consistently to like that 65% that what you need to be right. now is an efficient player in this league. Uh, that's sure. why it's why you know Joe Burrow's been so successful despite not being a crazy mobile quarterback. Um right. and, and so I think for Anthony Richardson, basically what I've come around to is that you know the whole fit with Shane Stein. I can listen. Was was Jalen Hurts a uh, as as sound a prospect as, we, as we've seen come in the NFL when he came out of Oklahoma to Philly? Right. Not necessarily. Like they were Philadelphia used him in some uh, kind of like how Baltimore used Lamar Jackson, some like wildcat packages. But yeah, I, I thought Hurts could become. See, I a think starter. Philly mishandled Hurts too. Just, you could argue that. Sure, yeah. sure. And, and, and again, the development it took time. Prospect coming out. Yeah, we you, well there you go. But in year three, he was able to develop into you know an MVP candidate player. I'm right. not saying Richardson's going to be able to do that, but it's it's the thing I worry about. Like the coach, as far as the fit, I think is perfect. That's exactly the type of fit he needs. Uh, yeah. They got Michael Pittman Jr. They got some nice pieces they can build on as 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 future drafts and trade deadlines and and free agencies go on in the future. It's the right. organizational structure I worry about with Jim Irsay and company, which right. we know sabotaged the career of Andrew Luck. Like you have this generational talent at the quarterback position you just yep. cannot for the life of you put an offensive line in front of him and it ends yep. his career prematurely and so i certainly hope that's not the uh a similar situation with uh with anthony richardson but uh that that that's what i, I my concern went from accuracy to where i'm like well maybe they can get the most out of what he can potentially give you in the future to right. It's not the greatest organization it could have gone to. So like Seattle would have made more sense uh, in terms of long term. But listen, I'm I, I'm rooting for the kid. I'm, I'm a Tennessee fan, so I don't root for Florida quarterbacks. But he's a great yeah. kid. He's a hard worker, so he's he's easy to pull for. But we'll just have to see. Yeah, I've really been picking up on the Anthony Richardson hype as well. I mean, you hear all the the leaks from the media. You hear the training camp. You hear the you know fifty, I think sixty five yard bombs he's throwing to Alan yeah. Pierce and, and this that and the third. And and I love. I'm gonna love Shane Steichen having a major role in molding Anthony Richardson because knowing what he just did for Jalen Hurts like Anthony Richardson just on a raw perspective one of the best we've ever seen but definitely you would take that over Jalen of course Jalen has some of the um, you know intangibles a lot more accurate yep. bigger moments he's been in obviously just went to a Super Bowl so he's got a one up there rightfully so in that aspect for Anthony Richardson but it does worry me you know getting back to the question it does worry me it does concern me for a very young Colts team for 2023 because when you've got outside noise like we've seen it in the past before with players with quarterbacks with certain things in a franchise like noise doesn't fare well in the NFL it's kind of okay in the NBA because the NBA is a very very star driven league you know people mm -hmm. have mentioned that multiple times might be a little okay with baseball but when you get into it with the NFL you, you just, the less uh, noise the better 
Right, definitely the less noise. New England's noise, a great better. example of that the last two decades. Exactly. Exactly. The less noise, the better. And when you look at, you know, franchises like New England or potentially even the New Orleans Saints over the years, like the guys that keep quiet, they might not be out there knocking it down every year, but it's a model of consistency. And I feel like that's one thing we have not seen with the Colts. You put this draw of a quarterback in there. I'm here for the coach. I'd like to think that Ursa is going to act and say better. And I really hope so because you know Anthony Richardson's going through all this. And at the end of the day, there needs to be some uh, compromise between Jonathan Taylor and the Colts, whether it's more on one side or more on the other, because JT is a focal point of that offense. Mm -hmm. He's going to be behind your rookie quarterback and you're going to need that pressure relieved off of Anthony Richardson for it to really be a a, a rookie campaign that you're going to be proud of. And of course, he's probably not going to have really high hopes. We know what he's coming into the season. We know what he's coming into the league with, but Very young Colts team for 2023. A lot of new aspects. Reminds me of the Broncos from last year. Said it with about the the Jets as well. You see some similarities, of course, like Aaron Rodgers. Not really similarities with the Jets, but Aaron Rodgers himself. All the differences walking into New York. Um, You know, kind of a couple different situations here, but it, it does does worry me some. But you guys get in the chat. Let us know what you think of the Jonathan Taylor. Um Indianapolis Colts beef contract situation. Is it really as serious? However you guys want to break it down.